I can probably punish this, and then that's what all I was doing. But, you know. <laughs> is this a real match? This is going to be good. This wow, is be a really okay. Good match. Afro Cole versus Chris G. Funny story about Afro Cole. I remember Evo 2010, I believe. I was in a hotel room uh, that my friend had bought, and Cole was just hanging out with us for a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. We had a younger, a, younger a younger kid with us. He was like, maybe like, I want to say 09er, but he was started like 2010. He started playing. Wasn't really sure of the scene. Never knew anything about the scene, blah, blah, blah. Starts talking to, starts talking to Cole. I'm just like over here saying this. And the, the guy's talking to Cole. And Cole's like, yeah, man, I, you know, Street Fighter's one of those old school games, man. You got to learn fundamentals, blah, 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 et cetera. So just give him the whole spiel for like mm -hmm. the new, for the new blood. Yep. Chris wants you. Oh. Hold on, we're gonna, we're gonna fix the wiring. Then I'm gonna finish this story for you guys. It's worth it. It's worth the hilarity, especially if you know the history of Afro Cole, because that is the point of this whole story right now. We got some people here. We got Tyrant. We got Brent. We got Commander Jesse. We have Chris G. Combo Jack. I see my friend TJ, aka Moon Boots. Brent and Chris are both here eating some food. It smells delicious. Bushin Style is also here. Fix that technology. Do it, Chef. Chef, not the best cook, but can work a stream station. Let's go. Skills that matter. All skills matter. Whoa. It's crazy. Chef's Twitter's up. I'm watching it go nuts right now. I kind of want to go see what you guys are talking about. There we go. It's not the sock story, Champ D. No. No. It is not. I know that story, though. This is not the sock story. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Corey, you makes it. Oh, Chef is almost done. Chef has done it. Why would you bring that up, Champ? Now, now I'm thinking about that story. Now... <laughs> It's not what it is, though. All right, sorry about that, guys. So, so back to Chef. So he's talking to talking to Cole, Ugh. and the kid goes, "Oh man, I wish I played old Street Fighter. I've always liked Dalsum." And Cole's like, "Yeah, man, you know I used to play Dalsum a lot too, and like I like play Dalsum." You know, he didn't say he said I played Dalsum in Street Fighter, and the kid goes, "Man, that'd be dope if somebody like had one Evo with Dalsum back in the day." <laughs> and I was like, "I have to leave the room. I can't." <laughs> 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 I just want to leave. Oh my god. Dude, hold on. These, these guys need some help. Let me, let me fix this for them. Oh no. Ponder where you've been and ultimately where your fist will lead you. Ponder my fist? Chris G plays so many characters right now. BZ. I don't know if you guys have caught his stream, but please check it out. Check out the NYC Chris G stream. You can see him running some Laura. Maybe some Cammy. Oh, Watson talked about it? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. MKX is, I'm sorry, Doughboy, MKX, what happened was they lagged it, get into the stream, and Chef was like, you know what? We ain't about that life no more. Get off. She fought her time. That's what happened. We're going to come back, though. It's going to run the top four, so don't worry. Don't worry. There are killers here. You're going to want to watch that probably anyway. I know, right? It's as close as it'll get in our life. All I right. just couldn't believe that, man. It was amazing. I know. That's, that's pretty good, man. Like, it's one of those coincidences you'll never really get to see again. Yeah, you have to just, be there. You're just like, I wish I could tell the whole world. They're not going to understand why this is so hilarious. <laughs> 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 and then the best thing, Jason didn't say anything. He was just like, you just looked at him and didn't even like tell him. And I was like, why would you say something? This is your time. How are these brackets he looking? He didn't say anything? He no, didn't he take didn't, advantage didn't, of that at all? No, he didn't say. He was just like, you know what? I'm going to let it just rest where wow. it is. Like That shows some maturity. He stayed low, low key. I respect that. I might have said something. I've been like, well, I, I did do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have played along with it. I've been like, yeah, that would have been cool, man. <laughs> That's like, uh, I don't know if you saw, I don't know if you have good text on your Facebook, but he had a, a post of him on Steam. He played a long set with some guy online. The guy was like, hey, man, good games. And he's like, yeah, good game. He's like, do you really know Gutex? 
And Ryan's like, no. He's like, oh, man, I wish I could play Butex. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, God. <laughs> you just did. <laughs> what, what is he using? Some other... No, his name was Gutex. That's why it was so genius. Oh, is he using not Gutex? No, it was just Gutex. Just Gutex. At that time, it was just Gutex. So, like, he just didn't believe it was really him. That's pretty funny. Dude, so many people are huge Gutex fans now. Crazy. He is the uh, internet sensation. When you go to Anime Expo, when I do Anime Expo events, mm -hmm. and I bring him up, they cheer. They know who he is. What's up? Um, it, it's okay. You, you can if you're up next, uh, you just keep commentating. Just what? Just keep commentating if you've got a match. We'll just skip your matches for now. I was gonna say this. Yeah, dude, you get, we gotta watch this match. This should be a really good match, like I was saying. Oh, <laughs> oh no, we switched. I think. Yeah, he got top five. That's that is correct. He put in work. He wrote a book. You can't write a book and then not get top eight. You know what I mean? Like, I'd feel so pressured. I know. <laughs> you, you write a book of MKX, you better get top eight, dog. <laughs> don't be no zero and two or nothing crazy. <laughs> Round one. I don't know if this is a button check. Right? I don't think so. I think they already did it. Yeah, we're in there. Yeah, looks we're like in there. it. Alright, so Cole using uh, Bison instead of Dalsam. I know those are his two characters for this game. Oh, okay. I know Bison. I thought he had a chunk. Uh, I think they said he was trying to learn a whole set of characters to be ready for Evo. Ah. So that may be one of them because he thinks he's trying to be really strong, as most people do right now. ST status. I like that. Uh, Chris using Cammy. Yes. This is this is common, though. I've seen this already. Uh, what Ca him his cami? Or yeah, his he was he was streaming, showing off his cami and Laura and stuff. So yeah, I know he was saying earlier that he really wants to play Laura, but he thinks she's kind of garbage. You know, when a top player says someone's garbage, I never listen to them. <laughs> Especially when it's one that they want to play. <laughs> yeah, because I remember Chris saying Kim was terrible forever, and I was like, all right, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But, uh, Didn't Chris say Kung Jin was terrible when MK first started too? Chris? Yeah. I don't know. I think he said Kung Jin was bad, and I was like, oh, hmm. Uh, no, 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 no. He said that Kung Jin was good. He switched Kung Jin. It was, it was the opposite. I think. But the mistake was ancestral. Yeah, yeah. The mistake was he used the wrong one. Very <laughs> yeah, going with Cammy. That, that's interesting. I mean, I, I guess I can somewhat see it, but you know, Chris, like the characters that Chris chooses are always. Random. Like I feel like there's no real strong theme connected. Really, I think it's all about like strong frame traps and pressure for him. Because like, he likes to make those hard reads, so he capitalizes really well on hit confirm, and that's what he likes to do a lot. I think it might, I think it's like a soccer in a sense the way Kenny kind of plays this. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. You yeah. like like fish with meaty fierces and stuff, and like it's safe, so you know, there's no penalty. Some strong buttons and just uh, take take some strong damage frame traps. Yeah, I mean the the, the mix up on knockdown is. Pretty much gone from Cammy as far as I can tell. I think her weakness is her range. Is, her arms are really small. She doesn't have a lot of range. Yeah, I mean, she's got some nice range. Ooh, man, she's behind him. Uh, she could have actually run into that fireball right there. I thought she was going to be trigger and just go in. Oh, here it comes. Oh, nice. Good yep. Made Cole waste a V reversal. Ooh, he doesn't go for the cross up. But, uh, what was I saying? It was so simple, right? But it worked. Yeah. It was like the most simple little thing. But that, I mean, that's kind of how this game is. Sometimes it's just the simple stuff. I mean, it's a very basic, fundamental based game that and it rewards them. Exactly. I really appreciate that he does that. Because a lot of people are picking their characters that really shine off their traits, which I think is really good. Oh, nice block in that cross up. Oh, what? Wow. <laughs> I can't believe he didn't what? land on that. <laughs> Doing a decent job. Trying to bring it back though, he ate a lot of damage earlier. But Bison's got a lot of comeback potential, especially with V Trigger. He can cancel his specials into EX specials. Don't forget his like teleport dash madness. Yeah, yeah, those That's make sense. Awesome. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh, and he goes into the knockdown from the EX uh, projectile right there. Too. We just talked about that. That's a good setup. I like that. He specifically did that because he knew it was on block. He right. did the, the hard punch of the up flame because it, it sits there for a while. It's it there for a held it. And he got to do two dashes, not one. That was definitely unsafe. Went for that slide. Yeah, that was that was risky. Uh, his spacing was just a little bit off. I think you can make it safe if it's just at the tip. I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, I, mean, I felt like that was just a bad idea. <laughs> I know why he did it, because people like to walk, and you can catch people walking back and stuff, yeah. but 
just right. given the situation of the match, it just was not the best well, optimal choice for, in my opinion. And you, you can go a little bit safer. I mean, like you said, obviously catch people walking back because they're not blocking low. But, right. Uh, you can just do hard scissor kick in this game if you just wanted to check them. And, you know, it'll catch them walking forward at least. And it is safe, which is so weird compared to four. You know, where it was like the, safe that was the worst idea ever, right? Yeah. And now it's like reverse. Literally reverse. And EX is the safest, light is the most least safe. Ooh, that was a jump in medium? Before? Yeah, he, well, he tried to do jumping medium. Oh, he caught him! What was he doing? I don't know, maybe trying to anti -air. I mean, Bison does have, I think, some of the weaker anti-airs in the game. Uh, he, they're pretty slow. I mean, he's got far, really good far anti-airs, trying hard punch, standing hard kick, but, you know, if you jump and dive kick, it might just bait them, catch them in the startup. Nice. Nice, there we go. Maybe try tried, maybe tried that. The jab. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, that, that might be. I haven't seen too many Bison's anti with Jab. Wow. If, if that was overhead, I'd be so terrified of that move. Oh. <laughs> I'm so glad that's not. It's still pretty scary because it is plus on block and it does move him forward. And having a move in this game that moves you forward and is plus on block is really important. Oh, that was sick confirmed. Chris G coming in. Did he get any pressure?